There are some tough jobs out there, and not everything you wear is going to get the job done. People in certain fields such as firefighters and beekeepers must wear protective gear in order to ensure their ultimate safety. From a complicated suit worn by some of the first high-altitude pilots, to state-of-the-art equipment worn by Russian special forces, here are the most powerful protective uniforms in the world. Number 13. Dragon Skin The great thing about this armor is that you don't need to slay a dragon in order to recover it. Government agencies, police, and military forces all have access to this special type of dragon skin. Not all bulletproof armor was built equally, and a new advancement in ballistics resistance has led to dragon skin. It's typically used by high-ranking government officials like the Secret Service and FBI. So it's gotta be good. The armor uses Kevlar, but also titanium composed of scale plates. Apparently capable of withstanding multiple armor-piercing rounds fired from AKs and M16s, there's still much testing going on to see how this might be used. Number 12. Beekeeper Suit Protecting yourself from bees on a daily basis when you get up and go to work in the morning is never an easy challenge. Beekeepers, especially those who are allergic to bee stings, absolutely must wear protective suits or risk the potential consequences. In order to shield themselves from these protective insects, they cover every last square inch of skin in bee-resistant material. There are two different routes to go, the ventilated suit and the non-ventilated suit. The ventilated one is recommended during summertime, and while you might not think this suit belongs on this list, keep in mind back in the day before rubber even existed. This job could have been a lot more dangerous. Despite the beekeepers being better protected, large numbers of bees have trouble staying alive recently. This has made honey imports to and from the US rather suspect. Number 11. Bomb Squad Suits Also known as EOD suits, this armored clothing is specifically designed to withstand heavy explosions. With people trying to protect their homes with homemade bombs during the apocalypse, one of these highly advanced bomb suits can prove to be useful for numerous reasons. They're made of tightly woven Kevlar fibers that absorb the impact of the blast through the suit instead of the person. Other plates are added made from plastic that are five times stronger than steel, so it should be able to withstand the bite of a zombie. Should. It's also made of fire-resistant materials, allowing you to enter a flaming building. Of course, there's going to be some serious setbacks. The suits are rather bulky and aren't really made for you to run fast in. The $27,000 price tag to produce is quite high, and good luck trying to come across one of these. Number 10. U-2 Pilot Suit U-2 pilots risked their lives trying to gain intel on the Soviets, the Chinese, North Koreans, and other nations labeled as enemies during the Cold War. Flying at an altitude of 70,000 feet can be seriously dangerous for the pilots, and that meant the CIA had to develop a revolutionary protective suit. Pilots who fly at such an altitude can experience hypoxia, decompression sickness, and extreme cold. Other possible dangers include the threat of crashing, which is why the outer layer of the suit is fire retardant, wind blast resistant, and also protected from abrasions. It also required a flotation garment in case the spy plane was shot down overseas. The garment inflates once the pilot pulls a red tab that opens a CO2 cartridge. There's also a vent duct system that ventilates pressure throughout the body. The pilot wore an airtight helmet that carefully fed him oxygen and even a liquid taste food while flying. This led to the advancement of the spacesuit. Number 9. Mars Suit In order to achieve a massive feat of human engineering, a massive feat in spacesuit technology needs to occur. This would need to be worn at all times unless they were underground or safe from radiation. Basically, until we terraform Mars, you'll have to wear one of these Z2 spacesuits that we see here. Living the rest of your life in a suit certainly isn't an attractive part about moving to Mars, but hey, maybe it won't be so bad. This thing provides things with core necessities such as breathing and temperature regulation. There will certainly be different suits for different tasks. The Z2 suit will be made of lightweight alloys that will result in high durability. There will also need to be a suit that's more flexible for gathering resources. Other larger suits, like we see with the extra vehicular mobility unit, will be better for exploration from the large amount of resources it can store, but mobility is limited. Number 8. Flag Jacket A flag jacket is specifically designed to suppress the amount of damage released by shrapnel. This is the sharp metal that flies from explosives such as hand grenades and other bombs, so it's important that it's on the battlefield. The first flak jackets were too bulky to be practical, but would eventually get more and more advanced throughout the Cold War. Your typical flak jacket consists of manganese steel plates that are sewn into place by a ballistic nylon made by DuPont. On the contrary, they can't do much against small arms, but they proved to be very useful in the Vietnam War. Some vests would also contain fiberglass plates known as Doron. Number 7. The Interceptor 
Interceptor body armor is mainly found on the battlefield, and it gives soldiers the edge that they were looking for. The vest includes room for insertable plates that can stop small arms fire from AK-47s, which are made from boron carbide ceramics. The plates are intended to stop and even shatter incoming rounds in the never-ending quest to make someone nearly invincible. The suit weighs about 16.4 pounds, with each insertable plate weighing about 4 pounds each. If the plates are not inserted, it can still catch 9mm rounds or pistol bullets, but rifle ammunition can still penetrate the surface. It still wasn't flawless though, and it made accuracy a little bit more difficult from the shooters. Nonetheless, it still provides considerable protection to the soldier's vital organs. Additional attachments can provide protection to the throat and the groin, which is always appreciated. Many allies to the US, including the Philippines, and even former enemies like Afghanistan are now using the IBAs. Those who get shot but are still wearing armor will still feel some blunt force, like being hit with a sledgehammer or a 100 mile an hour fastball. Getting hit in the hard ceramic plate though won't hurt that much. Number 6. The Exoskeleton Imagine being able to run around wherever you wanted to completely bulletproof. Possibly, but only for some of the most elite soldiers in the world. This futuristic operational suit is called the Iron Man suit. General Joseph Vottel stated that advanced armor, cutting-edge power sources, and integrated display systems are just a few of the results of this project. During some of the interviews at the Special Operation Forces Industry Conference, many military officials were rather reluctant to speak about it. But it's definitely going to be more than just armor. The fully enclosed helmet is going to have night vision and possibly other capabilities. The legs have motorized actuators, which actually take off stress from the soldier's legs. SOCOM is currently investing $8 million worth of research into the suit. Number 5. Ratnik Of course, the Russians are going to have their own version of infantry uniform that will rival America's best. The Ratnik program is fairly similar and is considered to be the future of infantry combat systems. The improvements here include body armor, a helmet with a special eye monitor, communication systems, and special headphones. The helmet will be equipped with thermal vision, night vision, and a flashlight. The tactical vest will also include plenty of pockets to place ammunition, and the command leader will be given a navigation module, which will actually help him give commands on where to go. The Ratnik armor will cover roughly 90% of the soldier's body and protect from sniper rifles and also assault rifles. It's believed that this will become standard equipment by the year 2020. Number 4. A Firefighter Suit A typical firefighter suit can cost well over a thousand bucks and are designed to handle an immense amount of stress. Many of them are custom designed for each person and do their best job to maintain some comfort. When your clothing will determine whether or not you become burnt to a crisp, it's important to be well protected. For the serious fires that require the most protection, you'll see the silver colored ones which can actually withstand splashes of molten metal. There are three main layers that make up a firefighter suit. There's the outer layer, the moisture barrier, and the thermal layer. The outer layer is made from carefully woven fibers of fire-resistant material known as Nomex. Researchers who attempt to get an up-close look at volcanoes might also go with a similar suit design. Number 3. The MBC Suit It almost seems as though the military has been training for some kind of zombie apocalypse to break out, and when it appears as though something might contain the virus, they'll be putting on one of these suits. The military is one step ahead of the rest of us and have MBC suits, which are a tad bit better. If you really want to take it to the next level though, you might want to consider getting some kind of MBC suit. MBC stands for Nuclear, Biological, and Chemical. All those things are certainly capable of bringing upon some form of zombie apocalypse, so it's clearly an important piece of equipment. Most hazmat suits are sufficient with protection against chemicals and biological weapons, but an MBC suit can help you survive in case of a nuclear apocalypse. While most are going to be made from some form of rubber or impermeable material, this thing can get really hot. The most efficient ones are the ones that incorporate a filter, allowing sweat and condensation to slowly leave. Number 2. Spider Silk Body Armor Spider Silk is known for its unbelievable durability, and a company known as BioSteel hopes to profit off of spider goat milk. The spider goat hybrid isn't quite as scary as you might think it would be. Spider genes are inserted into lactating goats, and the spider silk comes from their milk. Hopefully something doesn't go wrong during one of these experiments. The goats don't actually lactate spider webs or anything, but the milk contains a specific protein which can then be extracted. This extra protein that's not usually there is used, and it's what's known as biosteel. Some sources claim this material is actually nine times stronger than steel. Spider silk is much stronger than normal silk used for clothes, since the webs have to be able to catch a bug. And number 1. Diamond Threading Possibly worn by heads of state and poor people who are paranoid, there's a multi-million dollar suit out there that's actually threaded with diamonds. 
The diamond threaded suit is not just for show either, but actually to help stop bullets. Diamonds are possibly the strongest material known to man and are utilized in this $3.2 million suit. It comes from the Swiss company known as Suit Art, and each one is handcrafted to each individual owner. It's advertised as NATO certified bulletproof, with bullets fired from 9mm pistols and 357 magnums. There isn't a ton of information released about this technology, and you might have to be important enough to even get offered this kind of suit. Nonetheless, it's likely a good reason why the Secret Service is always wearing some kind of suit.